Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Man, I sense the Holy Spirit. I'm going to jump right in. Whoever wants to get on, go ahead and join in right in with me. Glory to God. I love you, my sisters. I want to, I wanted to um, be obedient to the Lord and share what he's put on my heart to share. I want to flow in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I also want to pray. I sense my sisters need some prayer on today. And so we're going to pray and God is going to flow and he's going to do what he do. <laughs> he's going to do what he always does and has blessed our socks on. And so we give him room to operate however way he want to operate. Man, before we begin, thank you so much for your birthday wishes. Thank you so much. I was able to get some rest. And, um, and God was able to love on me and use my family, my husband, my, and my children, and my friends to bless me. And so thank you so much for your prayers. I sincerely, with all my heart, appreciate it. And thank you for your blessings and your, and your gifts and your messages of love thank you so much before we begin let's go ahead and pray father god we come before you in the name of jesus we thank you lord that you are very present you're our very present father you're our very present help you're not here just to watch and observe and spectate you're here father god to do something special in our hearts in our lives in our minds thank you lord you're here to demonstrate your love and demonstrate your power. And we thank you for your presence. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your truth and your word. We thank you, Lord God. Your word is a lamp to our feet. It is a light to our path. Thank you, Lord. Your Holy Spirit is our comforter, our helper, our advocate, our intercessor, our strengthener, and our standby. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the truth of your word. We thank you, Lord God, for your character and your nature and for who you are. Show yourself strong in this moment right here. Flex your muscle, Father. In the name of Jesus, lift whatever is worrying my sisters. Lift it right off of them, Lord. Lift any heaviness that's resting on them, Lord God. Only your Holy Spirit will rest and rule and abide in their lives father only your holy spirit will rest on them no more heavy burdens thank you lord for your anointing that lifts all of it in the name of jesus we thank you lord for your spirit we thank you for your power we thank you for your might we thank you for your muscle in the name of jesus we give you all of the glory for what you're going to do right now by your holy spirit i decrease you increase Hallelujah. I yield to your Holy Spirit alone. No other spirit do I yield to right now, Father. Only your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Completely take over. In Jesus' name, do what you do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Before I begin to pray over prayer requests, my sisters, the Lord, he's been, he just, he just laid something on me heavy. And it's been building up to this moment right here. But God's just been, been talking to me. And so I'm going to share what he put in me to share. I don't know how it's going to come out, but I know it's going to be powerful and it's going to be effective. So listen with your spirit. Listen with your heart. Okay. The Lord tells us in James chapter 3, James chapter 3, and I'm going to read verses 3 through verse 11. James chapter 3, verses 3 through 11. I'm reading the NIV version. I normally read NK, the New King James, but I had to hurry up and get on here, so I'm reading my son's Bible. And this, he has NIV. And so James chapter 3, verses 3 through 11. Listen up. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we can turn the whole animal or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are 
steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire, and is set itself on fire by hell. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With the tongue we praise our Lord and Father, and with it we curse human beings who have been made in God's likeness. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this should not be. Can both fresh water and salt water flow from the same spring? My brothers and sisters, can a, fig, can a fig tree bear olives or a grapevine bear figs? Neither can a salt spring produce fresh water. Okay, now let's focus on James chapter 3, verse 5. James chapter 3, verse 5. Listen, okay, listen. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small, small, small spark. For a long time, women have been afraid to use this thing right here, this tongue, because I don't know Maybe you've been taught that your tongue is a world of evil. And you maybe you have used this tongue to build people up and tear people down. Maybe this tongue right here has gotten you in a whole lot of trouble. And maybe you, but maybe you have been taught that women are to be seen, not heard. Maybe you have been taught that this thing right here is deadly, is dangerous, and the moment you open your mouth, people are going to get hurt, people are going to get destroyed, you're going to tear things down, you're going to mess things up, and so why even use this thing right here? But I want you to see right now God's heart about this thing right here. Yes, it can be a world of evil. Yes, you can use it to tear things up. Yes, you can can use it to rip people apart. Yes, it can be used to break people's heart. But guess what? Guess what? It's also a small part that can produce a, a, a declaration of God's word, a declaration of what God says. It can produce a small spark that can set on fire a forest. So many people can be blessed by this little small thing right here. The Lord says in Joel, he says in the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 28, he says, In the last days, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. My sons, my daughters, they will prophesy. That word prophesy doesn't mean to just operate in the gift of prophecy. It means to, pre to preach, to proclaim, to use this thing right here to set on fire a whole generation, a whole world. Man, praise the Lord. And so you use this tongue right here. Don't be afraid to open your mouth and say what God is telling you to say. Don't be, don't be afraid. Don't be timid right now. You up against some stuff. You up against some stuff. Use this small little thing right here to set on fire that situation that's bothering you. Use this small little thing right here in your mouth to set it on fire. Set your house on 
on fire. Touch your family. In the spirit, you begin to declare and you decree and you say what God says and you set on fire. If this thing can be used for evil, how much more? How much more? How much more? Consider what great forest a little fire can kindle. You have kindling fire. You have kindling power. You have power of the Holy Ghost. You are full of God's spirit. You are full of power. Consider when great forest a little fire can kindle. Consider when great forest a little small part of your body can kindle. Your, this little small little tongue right here. Yes, you may have used it in the wrong way. But God has forgiven all of that. And God says, I'm going to teach you how to use this small part for my glory. He's going to teach you how to build instead of destroy with this part of your body. He's going to give you wisdom of the Holy Ghost to use this thing powerfully and effectively. You don't have to be afraid of this tongue. You don't have to be afraid of this member that God gave you. God gave you that mouth. God gave you your tongue. God created you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, including your tongue. Your tongue is a powerful weapon against the kingdom of darkness. Your tongue can decree and declare what God says. Your tongue can open up and pray and, and intercede and supplicate and make great boasts in the Lord. Your tongue can testify of God's goodness. Your tongue will declare the goodness of the Lord. Your tongue. Hallelujah. Your tongue. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And so you thank God for your tongue. Thank God for your words. Thank God for giving you this powerful little small thing that can cause a great fire. Glory to God. So you use it. Yeah, you say, Father, forgive me for any way that I have misused this part of my body that you've given me. Lord, forgive me for anything I've said that did not line up with your word. Forgive me for any heart that I've broken by misusing this tongue right here. Forgive me for anyone that I have verbally abused by misusing this tongue right here. Forgive me for anything I have done wrong with this body member. I receive your forgiveness, Lord. Now show me, Lord God, how to speak and how to use this tongue. The Bible says the tongue of the wise ministers healing. And so God is going to give you a spirit of wisdom. And the words that come out of your mouth are going to minister healing. It's going to help mend. Glory to God. What great forest a little fire can kindle. God is going to be glorified in every single aspect of your life, including your mouth. You may have been able to stop smoking, stop drinking. Stop going to clubs. Stop hanging around with the wrong people. You may have done all of that, but this little thing right here in your mouth, you have not been able to get under control. And God says, you give that to me. Submit that to me. I don't want you to hush. I'm not trying to silence you, God says. He says, I want to use that for my glory. I'm going to use your tongue for my glory, God says. And your prodigals are going to come back home because you have let Holy Spirit teach you how to use this thing right here. Your husband is going to come back home because Holy Spirit is going to teach you how to use this thing right here for his glory. I hear the Holy Ghost. You're going to be able to not lose your job and not lose your mind because God is going to teach you how to use this thing properly right here. No more strained relationships. 
God is going to mend, mend and strain relationships because he's going to show you how to use this thing in your mouth right here. You're going to yield it to the, to the Lord. You're going to give it to him. He's going to arrest you. When you're about to say something that does not agree with his spirit, he's going to just stop you. And you're just going to hush when it's about to be used for something that does not glorify the Lord. This thing, yeah, is deadly. But this thing is also a world of life. A world of healing. A world of peace. You can speak and you declare. It's a, it's filled, it can be filled with praise. It can be filled with thanksgiving. It can be filled with good things, good words. It can be filled with healing words. Positive affirmations. Godly words. Encouraging words. Peaceful words. Praise the Lord. This thing. When you let God rule over it, when you let him say what you speak through you and say what you're going to say and what you're not going to say, let him call the shots. People will want to hear your words instead of ignoring your calls because they don't know what's going to come out of your mouth. Some people ignore your calls because they don't know you don't have this under control yet. And they let that thing go to voicemail because they, their spirit can't handle it. They can't handle it. Some of you are calling people and you're just dumping, dumping, dumping. This thing is out of control. It's just speaking. It's just talking. And the person on the other line like, oh, that's grieving me. Oh, that's grieving me. Oh, why she say that? Oh, that's grieving my heart. Why she saying that? Why she speaking that? Why she talking like that? And they can't handle it. And so, yeah, they ignore the call. But I'm telling you, when God gets done with you, <laughs> when he gets done with you, people are going to look forward to your call. They're going to be upset that they missed your call because you're so full. And your mouth is so full. Praise the Lord. You will open your mouth. In your tongue will be the law of kindness. You will open your mouth with wisdom. In your tongue will be healing. In your tongue will be encouragement. In your tongue will be affirmations and what someone can do with the help of the Lord. In your tongue is going to be decorations of who someone is and what they can do with the help of Jesus. In your tongue, in your tongue is going to be so much blessing, so much goodness, so much of the Lord. They're going to look forward to, your, to hearing from you. Praise the Lord. You watch what God does. God will govern over what's been trying to govern you. He's going to rule over what's been trying to rule over you. He's going to bless you to get this under control. And you're going to set on fire. Everywhere you go is going to be set on fire in a great way. In a glorious way. They're going to love having you in there working for their company. You're going to watch yourself get promoted and promoted and promoted time and time again. Why? Because of how effectively you use this right here. How effectively you use this can be the secret to your promotion. Some of you are wondering why you haven't been promoted yet. It's because you don't have this under control. You don't have your tongue under control. And only Holy Spirit can help you with this. Everything that comes to your mind is not meant to come out of your mouth. And so Holy Spirit, one of the fruit of the Spirit is self-control. You can, with the help of the Lord, control this. Praise the Lord and use it for God's glory. You can, with the help of the Lord, it's going to help promote you. Hallelujah. I hear the promotion you've been waiting for. Holy Spirit. 
Hallelujah. He's going to bless you. There are so many opportunities. There are so many doors God is going to use, is going to open up for you, but he's helping you get this under control first. Hallelujah. And it's going to happen gradually. It's not an overnight thing. It's not an overnight thing, right? It happens as you continue to walk with the Lord. Walk with him. Walk with him. And let him work in your mind. Let him renew your mind. Right? We are transformed. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. We are being transformed by the renewing of our mind. Our tongue is being transformed by the renewing of our mind. The closer we walk with him, the more we see what is not of him. The closer you get to God, the more you see how unholy things are in your life and what you've been doing. And you can say, oh, oh, that stinks. Oh, that is not right. Oh, and you get it. But you don't run from his presence. You stay in his presence. And he's going to keep on tightening up areas and helping you get that under control because you're going to stay in his presence and keep walking with him. And before long, you're going to look up and see, man. I'm demonstrating qualities of a woman of God. In my tongue is the law of kindness. I do open my mouth with wisdom. Praise the Lord. Every word I say ministers healing. Praise the Lord. I recognize when I'm going through changes in my body. And I, and I recognize when, I, when something wants to come out out of aggravation and annoyance. That is not of love. And I just shut that. I close my mouth because I recognize what it'll do to the other person. And I recognize that way, the reason I'm feeling this way is because of what's going on in my body. But it has nothing to do with who I am in Christ. It's just my body is going through some changes and I'm extra aggravated. And so let me chill. Let me not talk as much because of what's going on in my body. And so God is going to help you. He's going to give you understanding. Keep on walking with them. This is a journey. You keep on walking with them. He'll give you understanding of what, why you're feeling, how you're feeling. Some of you will like to talk. Some of you like to talk things out. But God will help you process emotions in your time along with him. He'll just let you process it. And some of you like to get on the phone and process emotions. But everybody can't do that with you. Everybody's not wanting to come into that, that space, that negative space where you're just talking and you, and you say, I got to talk this out. Can, you, you may want to give some people some a heads up. Hey, I'm feeling, I'm feeling some kind of way right now. Can you handle what I'm trying to say? I need to, I need to share some, get some things off my chest. Are you in a position right now to, to hear me out? When I'm done, I'm going to submit to the Lord. I'm going to submit to whatever he wants me to do, but I just need to get some things out right now. And you can't do that with everybody. And so you got to give people heads up. Hey, I'm going through some stuff and I really need to talk this out. And it's going to sound, some of it's going to sound negative. Some of it's going to sound like I'm not in faith. Some of it's going to sound sad. Some of it's going to sound downright depressing. But I need to just get it out because at the end of the day, I know who I am. And I know what God is going to do. And I know he's going to be glorified in it. And I know he's going to work it out. But I have to get this thing out. I'm a talker. I process things through talking. And if God made you that, that way, there's no condemnation for that. But you got to get that out with the right people. <laughs> Some people aren't, aren't able to, to take their things and your things added on top of it. And so out of consideration for your friends, out of consideration for your family, you say, hey, is it okay? Are you in a good heart space? Are you in a good space right now for me to share and what's going on in my heart? I got to get it out. And some people will say, girl, of course, go ahead and share. I know you're a woman of God. I know you only desire to do God's will. I know you're not perfect. And they'll give you that space. Some people will say, honestly, I'm going through so much right now. I'm so glad you asked me. <laughs> but I'm going through so much right now. I can't, I can't listen to anything that's like that right now. I'm not in a good space. Right? And so you, you, you get permission to vent your emotions. Okay? Don't just put that on people without them being aware. That's not right. It's not. 
And so you get, so you, you approach relationships like that. But you, but this thing right here, it's okay to share. It's okay to vent emotions. Just last night, I was going through some things. Not was it last night or yesterday? I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, I was sharing some things with my husband, and it sounded like just doubt. It sounded like fear, doubt, and unbelief. <laughs> it did, and 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 I just got it out. But he's secure in his in his walk with the Lord. He knows me. He loves me and he knows me. He knows at the end of the day, I'm going to do exactly what God wants me to do, no matter how I feel about it. At the end of the day, I'm going to submit to God's will, no matter how I feel about it. But I got it out and I shared with him and I opened up to him and he let me get it out. And then I said, thank you. I know what I need to do. <laughs> I know God is good and I know he got this. And I know everything is going to be all right. Thank you for letting me get that out, baby. And he said, you're welcome. He gave me a big hug because I needed a hug. And then realized I needed a hug. But he gave me a big old hug. And I said, I, I know God is good. And I know he will be glorified. And I know he got this. You know? And so praise God. And so, yeah, this, this tongue, God gave it to us for a purpose. Right? He gave it to us for a purpose, and we can use it properly, okay? And just because and just because you're sharing your feelings don't mean that you're in doubt. It may sound like doubt. That's why you have to open up to people that know you, okay? Open up to people that know you. They know that you are a woman of God. They know that you are a woman of character. You're a woman of integrity. You're a woman that's going to seek God's will and do what he wants you to do at the end of the day people that know you if you start opening up to somebody that don't know you like that then they're trying to preach a sermon you're like i ain't trying to get no <laughs> you don't have to do that i know <laughs> i know god's gonna work it out i just need to share my feelings <laughs> and so people that don't know you yeah they'll try to preach to you a whole sermonette over the phone and you're like man I just need somebody to listen. <laughs> I just need somebody to hear me out. And so I can, you know, and so you don't have to be afraid. Just watch who you open up to. Okay. They must know that you are a firm believer in the Lord. Praise God. And so, yeah, open up and then speak and declare what God says. All right. Say what he says. Say what he says. Say what he says, not what you, not, don't declare anything other than what God says. When it comes to declaring the truth of God's word, God's truth can outlast any lie. And so that's why it's important to make declarations, right? When I feel like the complete opposite of a child of God, I will open up my mouth, open up my mouth and say, I am who God says I am. I have what God says I have. I can do what God says I can do. Everything God says about me is true. And everything the devil says is a lie. I receive the truth of God's word. I reject every lie from the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. And I speak that out of my mouth. I use this small little member to set a fire in my life. This small little member. And so you do the same. No matter how you're feeling. I am who God says I am. I have what God says I have. I can do what God says I can do. By his grace, by his power, everything God says about you is true and everything the devil says is a lie. You say that. I receive the truth of God's word. I reject every lie of the enemy. Glory to God. And you go on about your day in confidence, not in yourself, but in confidence in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord of God. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I sense that we, my sisters needed some prayer. Hallelujah. Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit that is here right now. You are, you are helping us, Lord God. You are helping us grow into the women you called us to be. Thank you, Lord. We are your daughters and you love us. Thank you, Lord, for helping us, Lord God, tame this member of our body, this tongue that you blessed us with. 
Forgive us of any way that we have misused this body part. Forgive us, Lord, for anyone we've hurt, anyone we've abused with this member. And we thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. And we receive your love and your forgiveness right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We receive the help of your Holy Spirit in controlling this party part. We thank you, Lord. We declare and we speak over ourselves right now that in our tongue is the law of kindness. We open our mouths with wisdom. In our mouths, Lord God, is your word. Your your words of life, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. The wisdom that you have given us, it pours out of our mouths, Lord God, ministering healing to everyone that hears our words in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, hallelujah, for the help of your Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord, for the fruit of self-control. Fruit of self-control. Be matured in us in the name of Jesus. Be made perfect and complete in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We don't have to be afraid of this body part that you've given us. We can embrace it. We can use it for your glory. And we pray you help us use this tongue that you've given us for your glory. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We will not be suppressed. We will not be silenced and put in a corner somewhere and told not to speak. The devil is a liar. You have poured out your spirit upon your daughters, your sons and your daughters. And you say we shall prophesy. We shall open our mouths and proclaim your word and say what you tell us to say. In the name of Jesus. And we pray, Father God, that this body part that you have given us, Lord God, it sets on fire. In the name of Jesus, it kindles a great fire. Glory to God. We are empowered by your Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord. We're speaking and declaring your words. In the name of Jesus. And it's setting on fire a whole generation. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We speak and decree and we declare your words. We make our boasts in you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Our mouths are full of thanksgiving. Our tongues are full of praise. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Our tongues are not full of complaints. Our tongues are full of praise. Praise what you have done. What you're doing right now. What you're going to do. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We use these tongues, Lord God, to make our boasts in you, Lord. To talk about how good you are. How great you are. How powerful you are. In the name of Jesus. We use these mouths that you have blessed us with to make our boasts. To brag on you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. We call our prodigal children back home. We call our lost loved ones home to you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we use these tongues, Lord, to supplicate and intercede. In the name of Jesus, and say what will be in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 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 Let our family and our loved ones and our friends, Lord God, see a transformation in our tongue. Renew our minds and transform our mouth. Transform our mouths, Lord. Get it speaking and declaring. Get it talking and prophesying. Yeah, in the name of Jesus. Get these tongues operating the way you designed it to operate. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, Lord, get it speaking and preaching. Proclaiming your goodness. You say we shall not die, but we shall live and declare your mighty works. Get these tongues declaring your mighty works. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. People will anticipate our phone call. They're not going to let it go to voicemail because they don't know what's going to come out of our mouths. No, they will, they will be mad that they missed our call because in our tongue is the law of kindness. Our mouths are full of wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. I speak and declare over my sisters. 
I thank you, Lord. They are your Proverbs 31 women. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I decree and I declare they are your daughters. No matter how they feel right now, no matter how it looks right now, you see them as precious, so loved, so cared for, chosen, appointed by you. They are yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Transform their lives, Father. Enrich them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Bless them. Make them a blessing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Help them to discover who they are in you. Learning who they are in you will help transform them. Transform them by the renewing of their minds. Show them, Lord God, who they are in you. Even on their worst day, they're still adored of the king. Even when they, they just made a complete mess of things, they're still your daughter that you so love. And you, your love for them has nothing to do with their actions, their performance, their works, their good or bad works, their good or bad words. Your transformation in their lives, Lord God, is not dependent upon them. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Take them from being a cussing sailor. To a mighty declaring soldier and princess warrior in your kingdom. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Some of their prodigals, their prodigals are going to come back home because they're going to see mama talking different. <laughs> mama talking different. <laughs> Mama talking different. My sister talking different. My friend talking different. My auntie talking different. Praise the Lord. Man, that's the transformation people are waiting to see. They wanting to see you talking different. <laughs> your children have been staying far away because of what's been coming out of your mouth. But all this changing. They're going to see a consistency, a consistency. Hallelujah. Transformation. You're going to talk different. You're going to walk different. Hallelujah. They're going to see a transformation and they're going to come home. Your husband, a lot of husbands stay out there. They stay in the streets. It's best. The Bible talks about how it's best for a man to live in a wide house. And in a, in the inside of a house with a contentious woman. What is contentious? Someone that has no control over this right here. Man don't want to come home. They sit in the driveway and be like, Lord, help me. <laughs> help me, Jesus. They don't want to come in the house. Because of a woman and her out of control mouth. The man going to rush home and say, baby, I'm home. You let God transform this. He's going to run home. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Praise God. You let you trans, let God transform your mouth. People are going to love receiving your phone calls. Your husband going to come running home. Your prodigals are going to come home because your in your tongue is a wellspring of life. It's a wellspring of life. It gives out living waters, living waters, encouraging waters, comforting waters. You're just so full of it, love and so full of encouragement. You can't help it. You're full of it. You're so full of God's life. And you can't help but be a blessing with your words, not just with your actions. Some of you got that perfected. You know how to give a gift. You know how to, you know how to do something nice for people. You got that down pat. But what people don't, they don't want a gift. They want your words. They want kindness. They want love. They want you to get this under control. They don't want no money. Your children don't want your money. Now they don't want any more gifts. They want the fruit of your lips. They want your lips, your mouth, submitted to the Lord. Submitted to the Lord. Submitted to the Lord. Submitted. 
Praise God. That's what they need. That's what your children need right now. Mama's mouth submitted to the Lord. That's what your husband need. My wife's mouth submitted to the Lord. Praise the Lord. And you will. You're going to submit it to the Lord. Hallelujah. You don't have to pray no more for God to bring your prodigals home. You know why? Because you getting this under control is what's going to bring them home. You don't have to pray no more for God to fix your strained relationships with your children. You don't have to pray that prayer no more. God already heard it. And he's speaking to you right now by his Holy Spirit. He said, let me transform your tongue. By the renewing of your mind, let me transform your mouth. That's going to fix any estranged relationships. Your children are staying away because you haven't gotten this under control. That's why. Let them see you not only use this once to glorify God. Let them see you use this consistently. Consistently. Even when you feel annoyed. Oh, Lord, I feel anxious. And you, you process, that, process that emotion. Anything that causes you to speak negatively. Speak abusive language. You process that. Lord, I feel annoyed. I feel agitated. Okay. You process it. Process it. Okay. This is not, a, this is not what it looks like. Father, you're still working. I'm not going to say what I see. I'm going to say what you say. I'm not going to say what I see. I'm going to say what you say. Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit is going to arrest you. Hallelujah. Say what he says. Say what he says. It's going to bless your family. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your boss, he's not holding you back. He's waiting for you to get this under control because you cannot be over people, managing people, supervising people with this not in check. Okay? I don't care how skilled you are, how talented you are, how much you have to bring to the company. You got to be able to talk to people. You got to be able to have good, great interpersonal skills. <laughs> You got to have great communication skills. And your boss, your people, your management, I don't know who I'm talking to, but your management is waiting on you to get this under control. And so you do that. And you're going to get promoted in no time. People aren't holding you back. You've been holding yourself back. Some of my single sisters, you're waiting for your man of God. He's, wait, he's been observing you. I sense your man of God has been observing you. Some of you. And he's waiting on you to get this under control. He don't want to be married to a contentious woman. Who say whatever comes to her mind. Just say whatever. That man of God. He needs a woman of God. He needs a woman of God. Praise God. Glory to God. And you are a woman of God. And you can decree over your life in my tongue. You may have just made a mistake and said something completely out of character. You can say, Lord, I for, for, Lord, forgive me. Forgive me, Lord. I curse those words right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel them. You could have just got off the phone gossiping. I mean, just ripping somebody apart with your words. Father, forgive me. Forgive me. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> Help me, Jesus. What I said about that sister ain't right. What I said about my brother, that ain't right. What I said about that man of God, that ain't right. Father, forgive me. Help me. That's none of my business. What I just said about them is none of my business, Lord. Forgive me. I declare in my tongue is a law of kindness. And you declare that over your mouth. In my tongue is the law of kindness. I open my mouth with wisdom. Praise the Lord. The words of my mouth brings healing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you mark my word. Mark my word. The Lord says by his spirit right now. Your prodigals are coming home. Your husband 
He's going to be that blessed man of God that you have been praying for. Your marriage will be blessed. Your children will be blessed. Your life will be blessed. On your job, you will be promoted. Your ministry will take off. You will see God be glorified in your, in your life as you let the Lord transform this right here. This tongue, it sets on fire the course of your life. That's either good or bad. Fire can be good and fire can be destructive. You want the good kind of fire. You want God's glory. You want his, the fire of his Holy Ghost. You want his warmth, his light. You want the good kind of fire. Well, the only way you can have the benefits of that fire is if you use this for God's glory. Praise the Lord. Any other usage of this is going to set on fire everything in your life and cause destruction. We don't want that. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Lord. I pray you guys are blessed on today. I sense the Holy Spirit. I pray Holy Spirit continues to minister to you. If you struggle in this area, I encourage you to watch this over and over and over and over and over again. Remember, transformation happens by the renewing. That's constant, renewing of our minds. And so your tongue is going to be transformed by the renewing. You continuing to hear what God says about this area. That's going to bring, upon, that's going to bring about transformation. Keep hearing what God says. And then the light bulb is going to come on. And he's going to give you some even, he's going to give you even more understanding about this area. Praise God. And that's when you know that understanding is going deep in your heart. And it's going to transform your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I love you. I pray God continues to bless you. Man, thank you, Lord. I love you so much. And God bless you. Hallelujah.